If you've been looking at your phone and wishing there was a screen on its side, well, I've got good news for you. It's been almost a year since we tore down the Galaxy S5, and today, we've got something a little bit edgier, the Galaxy S6 Edge. Will the Edge's futuristic curved glass and aluminum construction prove to be a repair nightmare? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tear it down. Hi, I'm Kate with iFixit, in for Gwendolyn, who is on temporary leave, and today we're tearing down the Galaxy S6 Edge. Size-wise, the S6 Edge is just about the same as the Galaxy S5, measuring in at 142.1 millimeters long, 70.1 millimeters wide, and just seven millimeters thick, and weighing in at just 132 grams. Getting into the S6 Edge proved to be an interesting challenge. Since the S6 Edge has no visible screws, we knew it was time for our eye openers to deal with the securely glued on rear panel. In fact, the rear panel was glued on so securely, we needed to get our heavy duty suction cup out just to be able to slide an opening pick in. After a lot of prying with our slimmest opening picks, we were finally able to separate the glass rear panel and get our first look inside the S6 Edge. In every previous Galaxy phone teardown, this would be the part where we would easily flip out the battery. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to do a good deal more digging to get that battery out. With the help of our handy Phillips driver and an opening tool, we were able to remove the mid-frame without much difficulty and finally get our first look at the battery and the motherboard. The mid-frame is home to a whole host of goodies, including some spring contacts, an NFC wireless charging coil, and even a speaker. There are even some labeled antennas that, according to Samsung, have been welded to the midframe via ultrasonic welding for stability and to save space. With the midframe out of the way and a number of connectors disconnected, we were able to free the motherboard and rear camera. The motherboard is home to a 64-bit Samsung Exynos 7420, complete with its octa-core processor, its integrated Mali T760 GPU, three gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM, 32 gigabytes of also Samsung made NAND flash storage, and the Invincense MP65M accelerometer and gyroscope. Since the camera came out with the motherboard, we take this opportunity to get a closer look at it. The Galaxy S6 Edge's rear camera is a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, HDR, and the ability to record video at 4K. Next up, we turn our attention to the battery, which surprise, surprise, is glued in place. After searching for some handy pull tabs and not finding any, we gave in and started prying the battery out. As we were prying, we could only assume that someone at Samsung was feeling our pain. This is a 3.85 volt, 10.01 watt hour battery that Samsung claims will give you 12 hours of LTE web surfing or up to 58 hours of music playback. We're running out of things to remove now, but we're not quite done. The micro USB came out without too many issues, but we were disappointed to see that the port is actually a step backwards from last year's Galaxy S5. This is a garden variety micro USB 2.0 port, and the S5 was actually a micro B USB 3.0 port. We can't imagine that the slight space savings in the device can make up for a 90% drop in data transfer rates. Lastly, we wanted to get a better look at the edge of the edge, so we got out all the eye openers we could find and started softening the adhesives holding the front panel to the display. The fused display and the front panel really don't like being separated, and as a result, we ended up prying up a little bit of the display. Oops. The curved glass found on the edge is created by a process called 3D thermoforming, where the glass is heated and molded. While it is an especially cool looking part, it does come at a price eight times more than it used to be. That's right, what used to be a $3 part is now a $26 part, thanks mostly due to low yields. Peeling the display up shows just how it bends and curves around the sides. This is a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560 and an approximate pixel density of 577 pixels per inch. We've come to the end of our teardown and that means it's time to talk repairability. Here at iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So every gadget that we tear down, we give a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the hardest. The Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge scored a three out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, many components are modular and can be replaced independently. But on the downside, front and back glass makes for double the crackability 
and strong adhesive on the rear glass makes it very difficult to gain entry into the device. The battery is very tightly adhered to the back of the display and buried beneath the midframe and motherboard. And replacing the glass without destroying the display is going to be very difficult. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on teardowns and repair videos. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at ifixit and make sure to give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.